Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today in this little video I want to show you how you can update the Wi-Fi network name and password on your Fronius inverter. This is applicable for the Fronius Galvo, Promo, Simo range of uh, Fronius inverters. And so this is this video is specifically for situations where you've had a Wi-Fi network already uh, connected uh, to your Fronius inverter, but the the network changes. Say you've got a new modem, or you've changed the network name or the password, or you say have uh, the NBN just has just been connected to your home. And this will uh, explain to you how you can get that new network connected to the inverter. So what we want to do first up is go to the inverter. If you don't know, these are four buttons below the screen here. And on the, above each button on the screen, it tells you what each button does. So this is up, down, that's a back symbol, and that's an enter symbol. What we want to go to is the setup. So if you press enter, I'll press it back actually, back, and we want to go across. If you have a look, we're on the now menu there. These buttons are now changed to a cross arrow, so we want to scroll across to setup. So we've got now, then log, curve, then setup. Press enter on setup. And we want to go to Wi-Fi access point. So scroll down one to Wi-Fi access point. And we've got the option here, activate Wi-Fi AP. And we want to press enter. We want to activate that Wi-Fi access point. And so there you can see it's come up there. So now we've got the, we have the Wi-Fi access point open, we can connect to the inverter to the uh, the Wi-Fi network the inverter has just created there, the Fronius, in this case, that number there, uh, that will be the Wi-Fi network name which is available on any Wi-Fi connected device like a smartphone, a tablet or laptop computer. So let's go onto the computer now and see if we can find that network and connect to it. So the first thing you, we need to do when we get back on our computer is go to the Wi-Fi networks and we want to look for the Fronius network. So you can see here the Fronius network and we want to click on that and connect and to enter the network security key that's going to be the password which shows on the Fronius inverter screen which would be one two three four five six seven eight and then press next Okay, so there we can see we've got no internet, but we're secured and we're connected to the Fronius network. So now we want to open up a web browser and we want to type in 169.254.0.180 as you can see here. And we'll access that IP address and that logs us directly into the inverter. And so over here on the right hand side we've got settings, that's where we want to go. And then on the left we've got network over here. So click on network. And the connection mode should be set to internet via WLAN, so via wireless local area network. And we'll scroll down here and we want to find the network that we want. So in our case it's this network here and you want to set that as a network and just type in the, the uh, password for your network and so you can press show password just to check you haven't made any mistakes and then press save and just make sure that's saved it there so it's saved yep and that's all all good there then you need to go up to the top here this is a very important step and press the tick and that will save those new network settings and connect to the new network there you go, the new network settings will now be applied. So that's all good to go, so that's all you need to do. Actually one more thing that uh, you should do as well is now that you've got the uh, your Wi-Fi network connected to the new network is go to the inverter and turn off the Wi-Fi access point, so deactivate the Wi-Fi access point and we'll all be good. Thanks very much.